Hi, I'm Brenda with Hay Needle, and today we're going to be doing a short assembly video on the four drawer Chelsea dresser. The approximate time for this assembly is about 30 minutes. Tools necessary for this is a Phillips head screwdriver, which is not provided. You want to start by removing all of your contents from your box. Then you want to take a brief inventory just to make sure you have all parts and hardware necessary for this assembly. Now taking your panels A and B, we're going to be installing our rail guides. Just keep in mind that on your A panel, we're going to be using the H12s, and on your B panel, we're going to be using the H11s. You want to take your wood screws, which are labeled as H3, and you're going to insert those into the pre-drilled holes. And then using a Phillips head screwdriver, you're going to go ahead and tighten those into place. Now we're going to take our crossbars labeled as F1 and F2. We're going to take our brackets labeled as H10 and 48 of our screws labeled as H4. Now we're going to take our screw, insert that in, place our bracket on the hole nearest the edge, and then you just want to tighten that down. Then you will repeat these steps for all of your crossbars. Now we're going to take our panel A, we're going to attach our crossbars. Using your screws labeled as H4, we're going to insert those in. And just a quick tip, the colored crossbars go on the side that have the five sets of holes and the not colored ones go on the opposite side. Now we're going to take our panel labeled as B and we're going to put it on the opposite side as our panel labeled A. You want to make sure that the arrows on your panels are on the same side. Now using four of our bolts labeled as H7, we're going to be attaching our dresser top, which is labeled as C. We're going to place this on the top. Now you want to insert your bolt through the hole. And then using your Phillips head screwdriver, you just want to tighten that into place. Now that you have your front ones tightened in, you want to repeat these steps on the opposite side. Using four of our bolts labeled as H7, we're going to be attaching our base, which is labeled as D. Now that you have your holes aligned in the front and the back, you want to insert your bolts. Then using your Phillips head screwdriver, you want to tighten those into place. Then you want to repeat these steps for the other remaining holes. Now we're going to be using 24 of our screws labeled as H5 to attach our bottom and top panels. To make this easier, you want to lay the dresser on the front side Now we're going to insert our wood screws into the holes on the back panels and using our Phillips head screwdriver we're just going to put those into place. Now for the next part we're going to need four of our cam bolts which are labeled as H2 four of our cam locks, which is labeled as H1, and our piece that's labeled as E. We're going to take our cam bolts and insert them 
On each side of the piece labeled as E, using your Phillips head screwdriver, you want to tighten those into place just until they stop. For the next step, we're going to be taking our pieces labeled as J and I. And you want to align these two holes up on the bottom of your side panel J up with the two cam bolts. You just want to press that down. And then you're going to insert your cam locks on the opposite side. Now using your Phillips head screwdriver, you can tighten those into place. And you want to repeat these steps on the opposite side. A quick tip, you want to make sure that the grooves on your side panel match up with the grooves on your piece labeled as E. Now for the next step, we're going to be inserting our piece labeled as L into the grooves on the side panel and the grooves on your panel E. We're going to use our four screws which is labeled as H8 and we're going to be placing our piece labeled as K on top of our piece labeled as L. You want to match up your grooves with your piece labeled as L. And then once you have done that, you will insert your screws on the side. And using your Phillips head screwdriver, you will tighten those into place. Now that you have all of your screws tightened into place, you want to repeat these steps for the remaining three drawers. Now take in 24 of your screws labeled as H3 and the remainder of your left and right gliders labeled as H13 and H14. We will be placing these on the bottom of the drawers. You want to make sure that the wheel is facing the outside. Then you want to insert three screws. <clears throat> using your Phillips head screwdriver. For the next step, we're going to be using two of our bolts labeled H6 and two of our knobs labeled as H9. We're going to place the bolt on the inside of the drawer and then we're just going to take the knob and tighten that down. For a quick tip, you want to use your Phillips head screwdriver on the inside of your drawer while you're tightening down your knob just so your screw stays in place. And you want to repeat these steps for the remaining of your drawers. After you have everything tightened into place, you now have your finished four drawer Chelsea dresser.